folks, Mundane Man here again, and as you recall from a previous video, I purchased myself a gas-powered Generac pressure washer, the 2900 PSI model, and I've been using it quite a bit uh, around the house and uh, for cleaning vehicles and such. And uh, I've also been cleaning uh, surfaces like the sidewalk, steps, and, and driveway. Um, while using it on the driveway and, and large surfaces has been okay, uh, it's always better to have uh, a tool that makes the job go quicker. It saves you on time, fuel, and water, uh, and just makes the whole process a little bit quicker and more enjoyable. So I have uh, gone out and purchased myself a surface cleaner, which you would use on your driveways and sidewalks and patios. And uh, this one happens to be a Generac. It's a 15 inch surface cleaner. Now it's Generac, the same as my power washer, but you don't necessarily need to buy a matching unit to your power washer. Uh, this one just happened to be on Amazon and uh, the price was right, so I went out and bought it. Um, so it is um, a 3100 PSI unit. My pressure washer is 2900 PSI, so we're certainly not gonna overtax this and it should work uh, just fine in concert with each other. So I thought I would just unbox it and show you what we got and then uh, we'll put it to use. So let's get at it. Okay, I'm assuming there's not too much to this to, to assemble. It should be uh, a complete unit, I would think. So let's find out as we open it up here. It almost looks like this thing was open before. never tell with Amazon, sometimes they slip in a used unit. Okay. There's a box, shouldn't have more packing material. And more packing material. So let's see here. Instructions. Who needs that? Okay, so this is the unit itself. It has the uh, quick connect on it, so it should connect right up to the uh, the, the wand on your uh, pressure washer. And it is the 1500 PSI, or sorry, the 3100 PSI um, Generac. Like I said, um, it has a brush. Uh, around it, so brush along the surface as you're cleaning it, and then it's got the rotating uh, uh, nozzles here. So it's got dual nozzles, one on either end. So this obviously is going to spin around and pressure wash the surface. And being a 15-inch surface, it should uh, quickly, or sorry, make quick work of any surface that you're cleaning. Okay, so really no assembly required. Here you go. Let's attach it to our pressure washer. Okay, so to make this job a little bit easier on the back and to prevent your feet from getting wet because you're too close to the, uh, the ground or surface scrubber, um, pressure washers always come with a short uh, rod like this for where you connect your devices to, whether it be your nozzles or, or other attachments. So I went out and purchased, this is a 60 inch uh, rod that will uh, attach to your trigger handle and it also has the quick connect end on it so it'll just make it that much more comfortable to uh, to go through this process because you're going to be standing there scrubbing back and forth on the surface and this should make it a little bit easier on the old back one thing it didn't come with which i was surprised was with the uh, the threaded brass end on it um, so I'm going to have to take mine off of this shorter rod and put it on here, but you could go to any hardware store and probably get the proper threaded uh, attachment here so that you would only have to take it off the, uh, the trigger handle and put it back on again instead of monkeying around with the brass fitting. Okay, so I put the brass fitting on the end of this uh, longer rod. Now we will connect it to our wand, which is a nice, simple, quick thread with the black end on the wand. And this one has an angled end, as you can see. So just kind of make sure that that angle is pointing straight to the ground. And from a quick connect perspective, put the quick connect on the end of uh, on the wand, just clicks right onto the rubber, and there it is. 
And you can see you're just nice and far away from that so that uh, you're not getting uh, too wet. And then you can always switch back to your shorter rod just so that uh, you know, if you need to get in close contact with something. Let's disconnect this for a second. It's one thing you can see on the handle here is there is a setting there on the the, the multi uh, device nozzle uh, for the ground scrubber so that probably changes the pressure and probably puts it out at full pressure on there so be careful of any loose cement surfaces um, because I'm sure it could definitely uh, dig right into that so I wouldn't hold it in one place for very long okay I'm not sure if you can tell from this side of the driveway in this light but there are black marks from tires and trees and such so let's give that a scrub just with the water in the scrubber and see how that section comes out Well, it didn't make a dramatic difference, but you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but on the left side, it's, the cement is grayer than the right side. You can kind of see a line there. Um, you know, not as dramatic a change as I thought it would be, but it certainly gets the sand out of the, the broom finish for sure. Okay, so while it was raining outside, it seems like any time I want to do something outside it rains, but whatevs. Um, I thought I would try it just on the garage floor without using any soap or anything. And um, I'm not finding this thing to be the miraculous cleaner that I thought it was going to be. Um, keep in mind that the effort putting in put into doing this is quite uh, little really you just it's like pushing a mop back and forth so I think what I'll do now is maybe spray some soap on the floor because what I used to do is I would end up scrubbing the whole floor with a brush so maybe I'll just try spraying some soap on the floor and see if some of these streaks come out so what you're seeing though too is missing paint because I need to re recover the floor with some epoxy paint but you get areas like this that are just basically stains from uh, runoff of the vehicle. And same here where a tire sits. So let's see what some soap and this brush will do. Okay, so I went over it again with soap. Um, I may have over soaked it, but I sprayed down the whole floor, the whole open floor anyways with soap and then went over it with the uh, floor scrubber. And did it take everything out? No. So I don't know, maybe I'm expecting too much out of this thing. This, these are stains that have been, uh, you know, worn in over all of winter. So, Maybe I'm expecting too much out of the sprayer. 
or this floor cleaner. So you let me know in the comments if you think I am uh, was over optimistic that it was just gonna be this miracle device. One thing I do know is, I don't know if you can see in the drain, but it did blast off any loose paint I still had. So now that I know I need to repaint the floor, well, I always knew that, um, this thing will be good to, uh, you know, blast off any loose paint and give me a good clean surface. One thing it did do for sure is it, you know, it blasted any sand out of the uh, broom finish that's on the floor. So, um, yeah, so any residue that's there um, can certainly be removed from that broom finish, finish, which will be perfect for when I go to paint it. I'll, I'll know that the floor doesn't have any contaminants uh, in it when you lay down that epoxy paint. Okay, it's the next day, the rain has stopped, so let's do the whole driveway now. another quick uh, spray again. I'm not getting the dramatic results that I thought I would, but maybe that's just me. Well, that was my uh unboxing and uh, usage of this uh, Generac uh, 3100 PSI uh, scrubber and um, the one thing I did like about it it has the brushes around the edges so it does keep a nice seal but also uh, bristles along the cement to uh, stir up any uh, sand and sediment and it all it seemed to work flawlessly from a mechanical perspective I believe it flows I want to say clockwise, so when you're using it, just keep that in mind that the direction you use it could impact, you know, the, the results you get. Now, I didn't see the dramatic results that you see on some videos where somebody's got a sidewalk or driveway that's essentially turned brown or, or green even from uh, years of moss and tree sap and whatever is in the air in their neighborhood. I didn't see those kind of dramatic results. The driveway went from kind of a a brownish color to a gray to darker gray so it did really get a lot of the sand and silt and sediment out of the broom finish and you I could see that as I was using it there's still no replacement for good old elbow grease but one thing I will say about having this when you are pressure washing a driveway or a large surface this takes way less time because you're covering way more surface than you are with a, a small nozzle on the end of your uh, wand so for that um, and the reduced water usage because of uh, the broader strokes that you can take with this is certainly a big plus and with that is also the time that it takes to get the job done is probably cut down by well probably a fifth I would say so again while I didn't see a huge uh, impact results from the use of this thing um, it certainly was is a useful tool and I'm going to continue to use it and especially when I go to paint my garage floor here this will be great for stirring up any of the old sediment and loose paint that's on the floor so that I'll have a good surface to paint on so definitely a good investment I think I paid 40 or 50 dollars Canadian for this so you know not an outrageous amount of money and um, I hope it lasts again I bought the Generac model to match my Generac pressure washer I didn't match the two uh, on purpose uh, it was just happened to be I think this one was on sale on Amazon and had a, a short delivery date so that's why I, I bought this one and it just happens to be a Generac like my pressure washer so that's it for this edition of Monday man uh, if you like these types of videos or want to share them with your friends please do and like and comment and all of that so until next time we'll catch you later bye bye